mini episode 1256 of the FDH Lounge is brought to you by Sportsology, delivering unconventional columns and webcasts about sports, TV, music, movies, and more. Follow them on the web at sportsology.com. The FDH Lounge. You want to schedule your life around it. A long time ago, on a gloomy, wet Cleveland spring night, two men stand alone amidst the late night drizzle. Their voices echo across the vacant station parking lot as they debate the merits of the great American radio show that have been missing for far too long. On that night, an idea was born. That idea became the FDH Lounge. Welcome to the FDH Lounge. Hello and welcome to FDH Lounge Mini Episode 1256. I'm FDH Managing Partner Rick Morris here with our preview of Yellowstone Episode 3.6. Here's our top five notes of interest heading into the season's sixth episode. Number five, what's the deal with Wade Morrow and his guys running a buffalo through the field? The Duttons apparently have some neighbors out to cause them some problems. Haters gotta hate, yo. Number four, what is it with livestock commissioners and going rogue in ways that can backfire? Jamie's first act was to urge the roughing up of horse thieves, a decision that backfired when an incompetent cop accidentally killed them. Now Case's first act, although admirable, was to violate probate law to help out a widow and her children. Given the next week's preview shows Jamie freaking out, something tells us that we haven't seen the last of the ramifications of his bad choice, and maybe not cases as well. Number three, John and the Chief finally clarify their ongoing post-Beck Brothers alliance. Just like the Becks, the developers who are stalking both of them are reinforcing this unlikely joining. There's still the hint that they'll be back at war if they ever run out of common enemies, but that won't be happening at least this season. Number two, speaking of which, our thought last week about Angela Blue Thunder and Beth making great enemies won't happen, at least for now. John and the Chief are going to unleash their pit bulls to work in concert, but both of them are powerful alpha dogs. Will they play well together? If not, that could undermine this odd alliance. Number one, two and a half seasons in, we finally learned the show's greatest mystery, why Beth hates her brother with an unholy passion. The second half of the season seemingly will carry a reckoning for Jamie causing his sister to get sterilized. As the new state attorney general, John is counting on his son to protect the family against the developers, even though he doesn't fully trust him. Factor in the potential that Jamie's sins as livestock commissioner catch up with him, and the fact that Beth would use that information to destroy him, and we could be seeing the kind of discord that would cause the Duttons to implode from within. Could Jamie's head be turned by the amount of cash the developers are flashing? There are all kinds of scenarios at play for how Jamie and Beth could destroy the family with their feud, a feud that we have now been signaled will intensify before the end of the season. The first half of the season has set the table for an incredible stretch run. It will have to go some ways to match or best last year, but we can clearly see that it's possible. Thank you for joining us for this mini-episode of the FDH Lounge.